What is up everyone? Jaren here, a casual runner. For this video, we will be taking a look at the Hoka Arahi 7. So, let's go! So let's open up this box. So this is the Hoka Arahi 7 and it is a stability shoes from the Hoka lineup. I got this for 9,495 pesos from Hoka One Ayala branch. So they are located in the second floor. So just check them out there. For my US 8.5 size, it weighs 267 grams or 9.4 ounces. They could do an analysis of your feet and then they could recommend what is the best shoes for you. For me, this is what they recommended because I tend to overpronate from what they say. I don't really necessarily know the specifics of it but they have that analysis, they make you run on the treadmill and they get those data and choose out the best one for you. As a beginner runner who doesn't really know which shoes to choose, so that is very helpful for me. These shoes will make sure that you have a stable landing whenever you are running and that is being made possible by the J-frame under the sole. So you can see it here. That is the bluish violet color on the outsole. Pronation is perfectly normal. It is how our feet interact with the pavement or the ground that we're stepping on. This is only advisable for those who tend to overpronate. If you do, a stability shoes is the best shoes for you. Otherwise, just go get a neutral shoes. So now we will be testing this out for a run and I'll let you know how it feels underfoot. In my thoughts obsession, I will not stop, no, I'm never second guessing. I got a god complex, haters love to hate, but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate, but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm in this test. Oh, tear it up like I'm Jason. I see the world like it's ready for the taking. I see this place like a game I'm playing. Straight to the bank to collect my payments. So just finished my three kilometer run with the Hoka Arahi 7. It feels great underfoot. Well, given that, you know, it's a stability shoes, it's, it has great cushioning, very responsive, not much bounce, but it's still a great long run shoe, good for uh, long easy runs, as well as recovery runs. So, yeah, if you're suffering from overpronation, you know, you could get this Arahi 7, and it could be a great everyday training shoe for you as well so great padding as well on the upper and not much breathable dun sa kanyang uh, uh, mesh but if you wear a thin enough socks I think uh, this will cool you off a little bit but since uh, it's a little bit cushion this Aragi 7 you know, it can get a little bit hot uh, especially if you are on a tropical country like me so just keep that in mind before buying the shoes. So that was it for our first look of the Hoka Arahi 7. If you like this video, just click on that like button and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. And I'll see you on the next one.